and we'll be watching the Patriots' creative quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Patriots and the Steelers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Welcome in, everyone, to this presentation of the National Football on EA Sports. New Year's wishes to all of you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, Happy New Year. Partner, a couple weeks left now in the regular season. Man, you get to this point, we're talking New Year, but for the guys, it's been a long season to this point. This is such an interesting time for the players because part of the league, Mike, they're coming down the home stretch and their season's going to be over. They're not in playoff contention. They're starting to play in off-season vacations and get away from the game a little bit. But then the rest of the league, they're coming down the home stretch here thinking that their season's going to go on. The final two weeks of the regular season are upon us. And off we go on EA Sports. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Steeler offense ready to take the field for the first time. They're led by their quarterback out of Ohio State. First round pick, Justin Fields. When you take a quick look at the box score, you think, okay, three touchdowns, no interceptions. They clearly won the game, but it wasn't the case. And what that tells me is they're just not getting enough contribution from the entire team. He had a really nice day. Some things that he still needs to clean up, but can they get better balance on the offensive side of the ball? And then, frankly, they need to make more plays on defense and get more contribution out of the special teams. This can't just be a team that puts all the pressure on the quarterback position and says, hey, go out every week and just win us the game by yourself. Into the hands of Pickens. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Well, it wasn't the most exciting throw today, but I want you to watch, Mike, is the suddenness of the route runner. Change of speed, change of direction. Those are the qualities of great route runners, and this guy certainly won. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. Pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time a day to any run actions. They are playing pass all the way, and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. This defensive line clearly has a beat on this offense. They've got to find a way to settle their pass protections. If they want to be able to get their quarterback in any sort of established rhythm and timing going forward, they're going to have to do a lot better job protecting them early in this game. That's already two sacks left. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. And taking the snaps, quarterback now in his third year in the league. You know you have a good week, Mike, when it takes all five fingers on one hand just to show how many touchdowns you threw in last week's win. Now, do we expect him to do that two weeks in a row? I'm not sure that's realistic, but as long as he continues to operate at this high of a level, they're going to have a strong chance to win every single week. He's got a receiver wide open, left side. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Big gain of 27 yards. What a way to open the drop. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that. He'll try again here. Second and ten. He'll look to throw. Now he'll air one out. And he's got it. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. It's a big hit for the Patriots. 39 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten.
Now they'll set up to throw. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. He'll drop to throw. Quick throw, out wide. It's caught. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Now, faking the give. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. Got to be a little bit more accurate. Got to be a little bit smarter with... To the goal line and in! Javon Baker. Touchdown, Patriots. That is... First touchdown this year. Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Pats will take a 7 0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Here comes a return from the three. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. That's where the offense will take over. The Steelers' offense back onto the field as you take a look at the playoff race in the AFC. And things are getting a little tight with two weeks left in the regular season already. We can look ahead in both conferences to some critical divisional matchups ahead in Week 18. He's going to be taken down, but there's a late flag in the backfield that might give him 15 more yards. A first down throw for Fields. He keeps it himself. He tried to buy all the time he could, but when he saw that space, he quickly turned from thrower to runner, and he's able to pick up a nice game on first down. Now it's a bootleg with Fields. He'll run again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. He'll get a dozen out of that one, scrambling his way to a first down. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. On the ground, this is Jalen Wright. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Second down. It's Fields. That's caught. Right side. It's fire move. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Here's first and ten. First and ten. On the ground, this is right. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. So after one, the Patriots out on top. And we're back to the Steel City after this. Head up, 
This is right. Yeah. And he did not want to go down. Good running. Manages to gain five. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Fields. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Now Mike Tomlin going to send out the field goal unit. This a 48-yard attempt. His kick is good. And the Steelers are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Now an opening past the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Patriots offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. He had the touchdown pass on the opening drive, and as we take a look at the NFL leaders in TD passes coming in, it's right there among the best in the league. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. They get 22 yards there. First down, New England. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. First down, New England. Lorenzo now. He'll drop to throw. And the Patriots are looking at a first and goal. As he's taken down at the two-yard line. First and goal at the two-yard line. They'll look to throw yet again. He'll get this out to his running back. And forget the pylon. He's not even close. He's going to be run out back at the four. Back to the air one more time. That's hauled in at the two. And he's so close to the goal line. Couldn't get that ball extended. They keep him out. And it sets up third and goal. Bill with to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Touchdown, New England. So they decide to go for the touchdown, and Greg, they get rewarded on fourth and goal with the six points. Yeah, I think the safe bet there is you settle for the field goal, and you're happy coming off the field with points. But not this play caller. He rolls the dice a little bit, but give credit to the offensive line. They created just enough of a lane for this back to take it in for six. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They trail now 14 to three, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and ten. On the give, 
It's right. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. From the shotgun, it's Fields. He'll let this go for Pickens. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. Now Fields. And that is incomplete. And this offense just cannot get anything going right now on third down. If you ask any offensive play caller throughout the entire league, Mike, the importance of third down, maintaining possession, making the defense stay on the field and have long extended drives, it is critical to not only scoring points, but ultimately winning in the NFL. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. And those numbers tell a lot of the story of this first half, don't they, Mike? I mean, it's easy to see why he was a central piece in this game plan, and he makes another grab there to add to this growing stat line. They'll begin here on the ground. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Throwing now from the gun. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. From the 50, he'll set up to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Back to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. He'll try and throw for it. Um, that's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Fields now. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. Athletic training staff is going to take a look, but this is a problem late in the season. Now, a second down throw for Travis. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Travis from the gun on third down. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Once again, Jamie Gillen out to punt. As the drive went in the wrong direction, he's on to punt it away. This brought in out past the 20. And how about that? Nice return there, picking his way up past the 35-yard line. The Patriots offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. And that's going to wind up incomplete. 
throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Patriots ready for the punt. As he'll come on to punt this one away. A fair catch taken here, and he come right at the 15-yard line. The Steelers' offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Looking out of the gun, it's Travis. He'll throw complete to Kent. He's going to be hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. And fortunately, their center able to rein it in, and they'll retain possession. One final throw before the break. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in Week 17 as we'll send you down to Orlando now where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. More from you and Greg in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll begin our tour out at Nissan Stadium in Nashville where it was the visiting Jets were able to get the road victory. Nick Boyle, excellent in the W as his guys get victory number 12 on the year. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Jordan Love has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And it was the visiting Dolphins who were able to get the victory. Jalen Polk, a touchdown catch in the victory. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. He fields it at the eight. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Pates offense and their quarterback coming out for drive number two. And he is the NFL leader in passing yards with two weeks to play. To finish strong and capture the crown. Right away, they'll set up to throw. Quickly to the outside and complete. And he'll be taken down up at the 40 yard line. First and 10. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. Going for it all. And he's going to be brought down inside the 15. What a big play there for New England. Pick up of 46 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll look to throw here on first down. That is caught by the tight end. Touchdown, Patriots. Greg, they have such a knack. It's like they're on the same page. The quarterback almost feels like, well, when you were playing, you know where that guy's going to be in the end zone. Yeah, we used to have a saying, Mike. We say we don't run routes like they're lines on a piece of paper, and especially against yeah, zone yeah, coverage. Down here in the red zone, the rule is if you're open, stay open. 
don't run past an open zone to get covered. That's exactly what this tight end does here. Friendly target, ball on time, touchdown. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Slot receiver headed right. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. They run again with right. And he'll take this one forward for about three. And that's a first down. From the shotgun, it's Travis. And this drive is a disaster. He goes down for a third consecutive time. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. Third and long. Third down and 13. Throwing is Travis. And that is incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The Patriots offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards he has been excellent all game long this drive will start on the ground and nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage and that is it On second and ten, they'll try to throw. He throws right side down the field, and it is brought in. Catch number seven so far in this one. And a first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. Now, faking the give. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Hubbard very strong defensively. It's second down. Now they'll set up to throw. He'll check this down to the running back. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Set to go now on first and 10. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. 
you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Trying to pick this one up on the ground. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. They'll come up here on second down and five. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. He'll look to throw. Checking it down. This one is caught. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. So we'll take it to the other end as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Try it again here from the seven yard line, second down and goal. He'll drop to throw. And he's in. Touchdown, New England. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with, but with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and through. And the Patriots stretch it out. Leading now by the score of 28 to 3. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the 7. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Now Travis. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Travis now to throw here on first down. This one is complete. It's Pickens. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Travis to throw. This one's complete to Palmer. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. To throw is Travis. He's got Frymuth open on the left side. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. Here's Travis. Into the hands of Pickens. He is in. George Pickens. Touchdown, Steelers. 
well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least it'll pay off with a touchdown, right? Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. And give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this game. Down three scores, and it's late. They're going to need a few bounces to go their way. They'll start right here, trying to get an onside kick. You have no choice. You find yourself down big here late in the fourth quarter, Mike. You got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Nice job here by the hands team recovering. They're going to take over possession. The visitors offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. As we head into this final stretch of games, take note, he comes into this one leading the NFL in receiving yards. That's out to the flat, and it's complete. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. With good blocking leading the way, he's got the first down inside the 25. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up the first down. The speed on display. He's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. On is Elliott to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Pats will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Steelers offense back onto the field for their next possession. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Throwing is Travis. That's complete. Left side to Pickens. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. So they come to the line for first down and 10. First and 10 out of the gun. It's Travis. That's over the middle and taken in by Firemoon. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Travis. He'll go right back to Firemoon. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Back to the air one more time. That'll be caught. It's Jalen Wright. That was not what they were hoping for. He's going to go out of bounds behind the line. A loss on that one. Third and five. From the shotgun, it's Travis. He'll take a shot, looking for Wilson. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. And he's going to be hit and taken down. They got him with a big-time rush, and it will lead to a turnover on down. 
You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. Right back to him on first down. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. They keep feeding him. 15 more on the ground. And another first down. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free. Gains nothing. up the middle and it'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play here's a third and ten so it's a road win here for the Patriots in a game that was expected to be a cakewalk pretty much turned out that way their class just much the best in this one as they cruise to an easy road victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.